Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit on what's coming or what we can uh, sort of expect out of everything that is pretty much erupting throughout um, the world right now, you know? And also just kind of like a chill video, um, get a, getting out into nature. You know, I'm literally just on my on my uh, porch, but I'm still outside. Okay, it was raining all day. It was raining all day, but um, let's get into it. So let me see. There's a lot of uh, informational stir, to, stir up, you know, because Gemini, the sun has just entered into Gemini, and Gemini is the communicator. Gemini is um, the 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 sociable one, you know, and uh, Gemini also brings in mercurial energies, and Mercury is all about uh, transaction and and business. And uh, is also all about teaching and learning, okay? And is also all about communication as well. And uh, even technologies, okay? So it's like the sun, com the sun coming into Gemini, uh, going out of Taurus. We're going more from, um, I'm going to say those comfortable, those comfortabilities, those practical ways of... of uh, living pleasurously into more of a type of um, sociability globally and a type of uh, communication with one another, you know. But there's a lot of informational stir up. There's a lot of information to be pulled in, um, either naturally or technologically. Okay, and uh, I recently just learned about small, uh, no, not smallpox, monkeypox, okay, which is... Um, supposed to be on some type of uprise okay during this time and uh i wanted to talk a little bit on this and how it's part of uh, the the pestilence you know pestilence and revelation is the the first horse and it's like the first way the first wave of um the the apocalypse you know and the type of uh, destruction to come. So, so what smallpox is pretty much smallpox or not smallpox, monkeypox is pretty much. Um, it's like it's like uh, Corona or COVID, you know, in the way that that since uh, the the COVID pandemic is starting to settle uh, settle out a little bit or like kind of diminish, you know, flatten out. To where we're seeing less of it and less uh, a mandation and less um, strictness around around uh, COVID pandemic, we're we're starting to see a, a, a breakout in monkeypox pandemics. You know, which is um, a type of 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 uh, replacement for for the dwindling of uh, coronavirus. You know, so it's like. It's like 
we're finally starting to get out of this other this pandemic that has been going or prolonging itself for like two years now and then uh as it's starting to settle down we're starting to see a rise in, in warfare and not only that but now we're starting to see a, a rise in another potential pandemic you know which they're already kind of building up towards because biden actually um just bought or he bought up uh like vaccinations for monkeypox you know he bought uh, a few millions okay of of vaccina vaccinations for monkeypox so it's like with, with that in itself they can uh kind of build up towards a type of a rising pandemic a new pandemic now that that covid has slowly been dwindling down you know they want to replace that with another one and then on top of that have the 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 warfare um going on arising as well you know these are like the first two horses okay and then uh there's obviously other things like like the soil health is very rapidly degrading more and more and that can lead to famine in itself you know because uh it goes through the process of desertification where topsoil pretty much becomes desert and then we can't grow any crops and then a lot of humanity can't eat you know so we left in states of famine and i know uh, because of the warfare in ukraine um which, which a third of the world's wheat actually came from ukraine so so a third of the world's wheat already uh pretty much got abolished during that war you know so so that's already sending people into famine that we probably aren't in knowledge of you know um but yeah a, a lot of this is already starting to rise arise once again you know uh, and it's just gonna keep getting worse it's like they're they're pushing this stuff on us in waves you know it's like um it's the slaughter basically uh is all i can really say about it it's like how they're getting people to fall into the ways of um of their of their slaughter you know and um it's hard okay what else did i want to talk about i want to talk about a little bit of uh of uh alien invasions okay so there's been more and more talk about uh publicly public talk about UFOs and and various different uh entities, you know, like aliens. Okay, and this is uh more coming to the public with the Pentagon uh the Pentagon has been releasing a lot more a lot more information on on aliens and then coming to encounter ufos and aliens and themselves you know um and and recently they've been releasing more um more you can call it information you know but i'm trying to look for the perfect word they're releasing more um you can there's footage as well but they're releasing a lot more like um okay be prepared to encounter uh otherworldly entities they're releasing stuff like this you know so the way i the what i see from this is like slowly um there's going to be a a, a technological revolution right so there's the digital revolution that's going to take place and this is where um we start building up to the technological singularity which is going to change a lot of how the earth is living nowadays okay but as we're going up to that and and the technological singularity it's set in stone for uh, i think 2047 2048 okay so so around that time uh there's going to be rapid changes globally taking place but as we build up to that uh as we start releasing new hardwares and 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 software upgrades updates throughout the entire world there's a lot of uh connection to 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 entities that are not of the earth you know uh entities not of the third dimension not of the physical dimension but entities uh, of higher dimensions which you won't always be able to see with the two eyes in fact you won't be able to see with the two eyes at all 
you need to open up the mind and you need to uh, get in connection with the spirit. Otherwise, these beings aren't going to exist to you. They will be non-existent. But they do exist, okay? And, and uh, the more we build up to, to the technological singularity and, and uh, the, the digital revolution and, and things like this, these entities are going to uh, make themselves more known because what's happening is that collectively we're shifting in vibration and this is what the global awakening is all about but collectively collectively we're shifting in our vibration we're shifting in our consciousness from the third dimensional to higher dimensions okay and this is taking place simultaneously with, with the uh uprising of technological revolutions as well you know and, and and a lot more there's a lot more to it but um I'm going to try and stay on track with, track with this. So, as we're making our way into this uh, rise, we're rising in consciousness, we are, are, are going from the third dimensional or, or the physical to the mental, the fourth, and then the spiritual to the fifth. And then we're going into higher dimensions. Collectively, this is taking place. And as we, as we uh, come to shift into these higher dimensions... It's inevitable that that some of the the entities who are inhabiting the the earth transdimensionally are also uh, going to be to be uh, brought into our consciousness as well. You know, so it's like as we rise in consciousness uh, away from the third and and into higher these entities of, of higher dimensions are going to be uh, made conceivable or, or, or made conscious, you know. And, and more and more people are going to start seeing various different entities because they're coming into higher states of awareness and um, they're going to start seeing higher dimensional technologies being used, okay, and they're going to start seeing all of this stuff because we're globally shifting. The Earth's Kundalini is rising, and when the energy of the Earth rises, our consciousness simultaneously rises along with it. And if our awareness is expanding, we're opening up the electromagnetic spectrum, or we're opening up our experience to more of what is actually there. And just beneath the veil, just beneath the surface, there is other entities of higher dimensions. Okay, and 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 they can't keep this discreet okay because it's not discreet anymore it was never really discreet in the first place okay but they're they can't keep it discreet anymore so what they're trying to do is they're trying to slowly integrate a type of uh coexistence with with other dimensional beings or higher dimensional beings so so this is why the pentagon and and, and uh the government is slowly starting to um they're slowly starting to to let's say to um to pretty much promote living alongside uh higher dimensional entities you know making it a part of of the the global trend or maybe trying to impose some sort of uh regulation when it comes to being able to to conceive or experience living alongside other dimensional entities you know but that's where they're going with it so, so there's always times within the astrological um, year. There, there's specific times within the astrological year or periods where where the the amounts or the um, yeah you can say the amount of, of of entities are are inhabiting the earth. So let's say during Gemini season, there's more of a, a, of an Orion type of entity. You know, during Aquarius season, there's this type of entity that is more inhabiting the earth. This is the way it works, okay? And during this time, uh, Gemini season, it, it brings in a lot of Orion, is what I've heard, okay? Or what I've, uh, would have, what I've pulled in. So, this is why the Pentagon is actually trying to, to uh, bring in that, that uh, type of integration into the collective of 
kind of bringing these entities into consciousness for a type of building up to coexisting with them, okay? Because they're, they can't keep it discreet is, is basically what it is. And, and people are going to start coming into consciousness of these entities that are pretty much actualizing their uh, presence here on, on uh, the, the, the fourth dimensional earth, you know, or higher dimensional earth. Um, not just physical, because in the physical, you're not going to see these beings because they're not of a third dimensional nature. They're of a higher dimensional nature. They're fourth or, or higher, okay? So, so what you need to do in order to conceive these, and everybody's going through their own individual awakening. Everybody's shifting in vibration individually according to how um, you are going to shift within your life. You know, it's kind of like a karmic path. Um, in, in a way, it, it pretty much is. Everybody's going and shifting in vibration in their own time, in their own space, and in their own way. You know, so it's like one person may not be able to fourth dimensionally conceive, but another person may be in the sixth dimension, you know. Other people may be in the third dimension still, the flesh, the physical, and, and other people are in the fifth dimension, you know. But everybody collectively is pretty much coming to their own shift or their own uh, expansion of awareness, you know. And it's with this is, is that we're uh, collectively coming to be able to co to, to cohesively um, bring in conceiving these these uh, these higher dimensional entities, you know. And the Pentagon already knows this. The government already knows this. And what they're doing is they're trying to pretty much, because um, they can't keep it discreet anymore, they're, they're trying to pretty much uh, just integrate a type of coexistence with these beings so that people don't, um, I want to say like, so so that people like won't freak out in mass or, or if not that, then uh, so they can keep people in the matrix for even longer by by having um work by having worked with these beings that are coming down because they already know about these these higher dimensional entities um the shadow government the pentagon they've been working with with entities for literally hundreds of years probably thousands of years probably eons okay um and this is going into reincarnation you know but They've been working with these beings under the surface for, for literally ever. And, um, and, and what they do is they pretty much, uh, they work together to, to keep a, a controlling hand over the mass of people so that they can use the mass of people as batteries so that they can use mass amounts of energy to power uh, their, their powers or their governments, you know, so that they can span out into the galactic and, and build empires and do things like this, you know. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about. I just wanted to go over a little bit about uh, the monkeypox, you know, and, and how they're trying to bring in more pandemics. And I also know Bill Gates is writing, or he wrote a book on how to plan, or not how to plan, but how to prepare for pandemics. So it's... Uh, something that they're trying to condition into us to be uh, readily accepting, you know, that there may be multiple pandemics all at once, okay? Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to talk about or had to talk about uh, some of the, the higher dimensional entities working with the, the shadow governments, okay, uh, the pandemic, subtilizing and then another one in replace of it uh and yeah it's pretty much it so you can expect some of this coming uh later this year or during this year okay so yeah it's gonna be all for me make sure to get out into nature it's a beautiful day for me it's um a little humid but the sun's still out and it's beautiful so I do thank everybody for watching once again Hope you did enjoy the video today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. And peace out. One love, everyone.